Hi, everybody. It is Mrs. Martin, and gosh, it's hard to believe that we are already at the end of April and we are coming to the end of the school year um, really quickly. This is your uh, last official book talk of this school year, and I have a couple announcements I want to go through with you before we get to the books. The first is about our spring reading challenge going on now until May 21st. You might have already seen the link on Schoology or on the library homepage, but uh, we have a bingo card going on. Hopefully you're doing some reading already just for fun or for school, but um, you might as well get some credit for it here in the library as well. There are lots of options on this bingo card and you can download this to Notability or print it out if you'd rather and then um, complete a row diagonally, horizontal, or vertical. You can also do four corners if you'd rather. But there's lots of options on here. Everything from reading nonfiction, um, reading something outside, reading the captions even to a favorite TV show or movie. And turning this in um, after you've completed that makes you eligible for prizes uh, by May 21st. So find the link on Schoology or on the library homepage. Let me know if you have any questions about that and good luck with uh, the reading. We are going to have a Scholastic Book Fair here the week of May 10th through 14th. There will be details coming out to your classes really soon about that, so I'll look forward to seeing you down here in the library for that book fair coming up. Just a reminder that uh, even though the school year will still be going on, um, we will be asking for books to be coming back by Friday, May 28th, just as we always do at the end of the year there. We do need a couple extra days to get everything back and turned in. Please, if you do have materials, especially due back from last year um, before we were all shut down for uh, you know, COVID, we'd love to get those things back. If you uh, have realized, gosh, you know, somewhere along the way those things got lost or misplaced or ruined, talk to me about that. Um, if you need to work on paying those off, um, we also have a, an option for people who want to just read off their um, missing books. And so um, please get in touch with me about it if you need to do so. But we'd love to get those turned in, get your record clean, so that you can head off into summer vacation without having to think about those. All right. The first book I'm sharing with you today comes from Jamie Sumner. It's in our realistic fiction section. And it's called Tune It Out. She's the same author that wrote the book Roll With It, in case you are familiar with that story. This is about a girl named Lou who uh, is a singer. She has a really incredible voice. She loves to sing. It's kind of the thing that makes her who she is. But she doesn't love doing it in front of other people. Lou's mom loves having Lou sing for others. Uh, she thinks that Lou is going to make it big. She's going to be the next big thing. Um, you know, maybe be famous for her singing. Lou, though, doesn't like crowds, and she doesn't like loud noises. She doesn't really like having people uh, be close to her. You know, even giving someone a high five is too much. And Lou learns about herself in this story that she's someone who has uh, sensory processing disorder, or SPD, and it feels like something is wrong with her. It feels like, you know, she deals with the world in a way that, that makes her strange. And throughout the story, she learns through the help of a, of a counselor that it's not something that makes her different from others in a bad way. It's just something that makes her different. And of course, everybody is different in their own way. Um, and it's really neat to see Lou come to realize that in this book. In the book, uh, Lou and her mom run into some big problems. Lou um, ends up crashing their car at one point and is taken away from her mom. And I'm going to let you figure out in this story what happens next, because um, the relationship between Lou and her mom is really at the heart of what makes this story such an incredible read. Tune It Out by Jamie Sumner. Give this book a try. Slider by Pete Houtman is a perfect, funny book if you love a kid with a, a problem that seems completely unsolvable. David can eat an entire 16-inch pepperoni pizza in 14 minutes, no, excuse me, 4 minutes and 36 seconds. 
That's not too bad, but it's not good enough to compete in the Super Pigorino Bowl, which is the world's greatest pizza eating contest. And the thing is, he's got to win this food eating competition if he has any chance at winning the grand prize. Because David, whoops, borrowed his mom's credit card and racked up $2,000 on it without telling her. And he needs to pay that off before she finds out or he's going to be in an incredible amount of trouble. This story is a lot of practicing for this food eating competition. So there's a lot of gross stuff that happens in the book because of course to practice eating for a competition where you have to eat fast, that's a lot of how you practice. And I'll let you um, decide what those details might look like. Some kind of disgusting scenes, but definitely a very funny book as David tries to get himself out of deep trouble. Also known as by Robin Benway is the first in an adventure series. And if you have ever wondered what it would be like to be an international spy, this is the book for you. Um, this story has Maggie never really understanding what it's like to be a normal high school student. She does know what it's like to pick the locks uh, on safes. She knows what it's like to travel around the world and have her parents be international spies. She knows what it's like to um, you know, be part of a world uh, famous spy organization. But she has no clue what it is to be friends with just typical you know, average high school students at a private school. And when she has to do so in New York City for her first solo spy assignment, it's the toughest thing she's ever had to manage. Uh, she's never had to pretend as though she's just a normal kid. And this could be um, the, uh, well, again, the, the most difficult thing she's ever been challenged with. Find out if she can do it without blowing her cover, especially as she learns um, that the, the closer people want to come to her, right, the more people want to be her friend, um, the harder it is to pretend that you're just typical also known as by Robin Benway, and this is the first in the series, so if you love this first book, you will want to read the rest. The Nerds series, and you'll notice that Nerds stands for something by Michael Buckley, is a group of really unpopular students who are part of a spy network inside their school. I guess I was in the mood for spy stuff, but this is a humorous uh, look at that. Let's take a look at a trailer to find out more. Dorks, dweebs, spazzes, nerds everywhere. Someday you will change the world. And I should know, I, Jackson Jones, actually live in the middle of Nerdsville, USA. My school is crawling with wheezing, math-loving, Velcro sneaker-wearing geeks. I was the most popular guy at school. I was the leader of the cool kids, attacking these goofballs daily, armed with spitballs, wet willies, and atomic wedgies. Until, until, fate smacked me in the mouth. After a meeting with the orthodontist, overnight, I became braced face. Suddenly, friendless, a nerdtron, a true misfit, who even the nerds reject. Until, until, fate smacked me in the face again. Ow! Falling down to the basement of the school, I discover an international spy network of secret agents run by the five most awkward nerds of my school. Meet the nerd herd. Duncan, Duncan, Duncan loose, 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 Dewey, Dewey. Dewey. Pace, Pace eaters who can stick, stick to walls. walls. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby Huff, 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 Pete, 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 sensitive, sensitive allergy. allergy. Alert her to danger and dishonesty. He's 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 chopper chopper hodge hodge. Control your mind with his buck buck. Julio Julio flinch flinch scala hyper activity gives him super speed and strength. Matilda Tilda Weezer Weezer Choi Choi inhalers enable her to fly and blast enemies. And now me Jack Jack race 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 Jones Jones the new recruit. His metal mouth now comes with gadget of escape instructions. The new guy who everyone wants to kill, including my own team. My world is upside down, crawling with spies, goons, evildoers, and still nerds. 
Find out if Jackson survives and the nerd herd can save the world by reading Michael Buckley's hilarious novel, Nerds! I absolutely love the way that this author took the things that maybe make us feel a little bit nerdy um, and made them their superpowers. You will love this, especially if you're someone who has loved Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Big Nate, Last Kids on Earth. This series is for you. I wanted to also throw in a fantasy series, um, super fun by Jen Kalanita. This is the Fairy Tale Reform School series. It imagines that um, in this one, Cinderella's wicked stepmother has um, decided to uh, form this school to basically make the villains of different fairy tales good again. She's decided that her mission is to turn the wicked and criminal into upstanding members of Enchantia. So um, our main character, Jilly, ends up in this reform school for a few months. She does something that gets her into some trouble. She meets some fellow students. And when she does, she finds out that maybe the school is not all that it is cracked up to be. It seems as though uh, perhaps the villains are not turning into such good people after all, but maybe villains can't actually change. The first book is called Flunked. Uh, if you love fairy tales and if you love a twisted fairy tale, a fractured fairy tale, one where they take a story that you might be familiar with and they kind of turn it on its head, this one is so much fun and you're going to want to take a look at the whole series. Uh, try this one out, the first book, Flunked, by Jen Kalanita. Last but not least, let me also recommend to you, um, again, these are, and I realize I left the author name off, good grief, uh, I must have been in a rush here, the interactive survival adventure books. These are not books you have to read in order, but they are of a choose your own adventure um, idea. So we've got all kinds of these books in our adventure section wondering if you can survive the jungle or extreme mountain climbing and lots of other things. Um, in these books, you might be lost um, after your plane crashes in the Amazon jungle and you parachute out of the plane and you land safely, but you have very little food and water. And you might be given a choice on these pages. Do you take off in search of rescue or build a camp and try to signal rescuers? Do you head toward where you believe the downed plane and your pilot may have landed? Well, it's all up to you. You're given these options, and based on the choices that you make, you turn to different pages in the book and find out if you live or die. These books are so much fun to read. They're not the kind that you read from cover to cover. Um, they are back and forth all around the book, and every time you read them, they are a different story based on the different decisions that you make as a character. Lots of fun to read. If you've never picked these up, I highly recommend them. Um, and you can take a look. These are just four of the many different ones that we have in our library. And um, especially if you love nonfiction or if you just love the idea of, could I survive? Would I make the right choices? Please come and check out some of these interactive survival adventure books. These are uh, just a few book recommendations that I have for you today. We have so many other brand new books to the library that we've added lately. I hope that you'll get a chance to pop down here um, at least one more time, if not a few, before the end of the school year. Thanks for your attention and happy reading.